よろしくお願いします。My name is Jasmine, and this is my official application for the 2024 Japan Summer Camp Program. I'm a 23 year old African American woman who's ethnically from Tanzania. As a diaspora, culture is very important to me, and my love for culture expands and expresses itself through all things beyond dance. Folklore, oral tellings, etc. And I currently live in Baltimore, Maryland. My heart stays tucked in the heat with blankets and mother's home country. Growing up in Tanzania was beneficial for my own personal growth and aspects of cultural acceptance and immersion. Making friends from different countries and continents, being able to make different foods as long as it wasn't pork, and speaking more than one language was a way that allowed for me to push myself onto a path of self discovery. And curiosity and inquiry. This curiosity then got me as far as into Japanese culture, entertainment, food, and folklore, and learning the language as I take it in through immersion and childlike wonder. While pursuing my bachelor's degree in psychology, I was constantly asked what it was that I wanted to do with my degree. At first, I wasn't too sure. If anything, I was pretty scared about what I would do after I graduate because I felt as though I would not have any more potential outside of school. But it wasn't until I took an Arabic class in my last semester that I realized it was culture and my interest in it that pushed me towards taking psychology as a major in the first place. The way that we behave, interact with others, listen to others. Turn and form opinions and biases stem from culture. How we communicate with our languages, how some letters exist in one language and don't in others, how black tea can be used in so many different ways across countries and continent borderlines. It shows us how heavily that culture has affected our existence. As beautiful as culture may be, mental health disparities and treatment go greatly unnoticed. As a result of westernization, significant reduction in collectivistic culture habits, and a lack of representation of non white individuals in the mental health facility. As days go by and the youth do their best to create safe and healthy spaces to have discussions around the mental health facilities and movements, there still remains a very large gap in treatments that are tailored towards specific cultural backgrounds. Together with AYFN, I believe that I could create and assist in showcasing wellness practices that are non invasive, accessible, and all around community centric. If chosen for a scholarship to experience Japan, I'll do my best to assist AYFN to expand the knowledge that is provided towards the youth. I would like to show people I know personally and social media following what it is like to experience Asia as a Black young woman. Inshallah, I am awarded with this opportunity and I get to experience and make memories while also taking people along with me. Ganbaremasu!